Is Sean Combs' departure from Revolt the end of an era for the media company he founded or a new beginning for the brand? The hip-hop mogul, also known as Puff Daddy or Diddy, has officially sold his majority stake in Revolt, marking a significant shift for the media company. This move comes in the wake of numerous lawsuits accusing Combs of sexual and physical abuse, fundamentally altering his relationship with the enterprise he established over a decade ago. The separation, as announced by Revolt's chief executive, Dottavio Samuels, signifies a complete disassociation between Combs and the company. Combs, who initially launched Revolt as a music industry, focused cable channel to enhance black representation on television, had to step back amid growing legal challenges. His exit from Revolt includes stepping down from his chairman position and selling all his shares, leaving the company without a majority owner. Before we dive deeper, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more insights and stories that mainstream media often overlook. Revolt, now known for popular video podcasts like Drink Champs, The Jason Lee Show, and Carisha Please, have transitioned from its cable TV origins to a digital media powerhouse. Despite this evolution, the company's identity was long intertwined with Combs. However, the lawsuits and subsequent federal investigations have forced Revolt to distance itself from its founder. The legal troubles began in earnest when Cassandra Ventura, Combs' former girlfriend, filed a lawsuit accusing him of years of abuse. Although this suit was settled quickly, it opened the floodgates for additional claims from other women. Combs' business empire has faced significant contractions as a result of these allegations. Beyond Revolt, he sold his half of a liquor brand for approximately $200 million after the parent company raised concerns about his tarnished reputation. Additionally, a charter school network he helped expand ended its partnership with him. These developments underscore the profound impact of the legal battles on Combs' ventures. Despite Combs' distancing, the employees at Revolt have felt the ripple effects of the scandal. The release of hotel security footage showing Combs physically assaulting Ventura corroborated parts of her lawsuit and led to an apology from Combs, acknowledging his inexcusable behavior. In response, Revolt has offered therapeutic support to its staff, underscoring the gravity of the situation. While the company navigates these tumultuous waters, it has embraced a new ownership structure where current and future full-time employees will receive equity. This shift aims to empower a workforce predominantly composed of people of color, addressing historical inequities in the industry. CEO Dottavio Samuels emphasizes that the internal strength of the company is sufficient for its growth and success, highlighting a move towards greater inclusivity and ownership among its employees. As speculation continues about potential new investors, the reality remains that Revolt is forging a new path, one less reliant on its famous founder. This transformation may well be an opportunity for Revolt to redefine itself and continue its mission with renewed vigor. For more critical updates and comprehensive analyses on this and other stories, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned as we bring you the news that matters, often overlooked by mainstream media.